Steve Littman here, and today we're at Sewn Lab, a recording, mastering, and tracking studio in East Hampton, Massachusetts. And with me is co-owner and engineer, Mr. Mark Allen Miller. And I think I have a few questions for you today. Excellent. Nice to see you again. Good to see you. So Mark, how do you select the best microphone to record a vocalist? I think the goal of selecting a microphone for a vocalist is to pick a mic that's frequency response characteristics match and complement the vocalist's qualities. So for example, if you had a vocalist that was fairly warm, you would maybe pick a bright sounding microphone that had a lot of treble to complement that warm voice. Or alternately, if somebody had a very bright voice, you might pick a microphone that's more sensitive in the lower frequencies or maybe a little less sensitive in the upper frequencies to complement the person's voice. Uh, oftentimes you'll put up two or three microphones and try them and see which one sounds the best. And if you're familiar with the microphones that you have at your disposal, you can sometimes start with one that you can just go, oh, I think I know what this person sounds like and they'll probably sound good with this microphone or that microphone. So for example, in my case, when I came to record uh, here at Sony Lab, uh, how did you select the mic for me? If I remember correctly, I think I had heard your voice recorded before I had actually heard you in person. But regardless, when I heard your voice, I could tell that you had a bit of a strident quality, a strong upper mid-range. And a microphone that I would normally go to, for example, for a, a vocalist, would be like a Neumann U67. It's a classic vintage tube microphone. Uh, but it's not gentle in those upper ranges. It, it, pushes those upper ranges forward. And the last thing I really wanted to do with your voice is to accentuate something that didn't need accentuating. We have another microphone uh, called the Bees Knees Marion, and it has a very mellow upper mid-range. And we tried that, I think that was the second mic we tried, and it immediately became obvious that it was a very good fit for your voice. And that would be the one I would continue to use with you from here on out. I, I really appreciated that too, because the uh... Yeah, the cards were excellent. I was very happy with that, and thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for joining me today at Sewn Lab in East Hampton, Massachusetts. Be sure to check out my crowdfunding campaign. You can find more information about that on my website at stevelittlemusic.com. And be sure to like me on Facebook and join my mailing list to get the latest information about Steve Littman and my music.